How's my goals? And today is part two of how to get closer to God. First, you need to focus on how you're approaching on getting closer and having a better relationship. Don't think of it as like checking off a to-do list. Think of it about like, oh, I get to do this. I get to spend time with them. Be like excited kind of, not be like, okay, I gotta do this. Be like, I get to do this. You know, it's kind of like how where your mindset is. And also a lot of times with Christianity, people think, oh, it's about like do's and don'ts. It's about, I have to uh, not lie. I have to do this. I have to do that for him and blah, blah, blah. But don't focus so much on that. Focus more just simply talking to him having the relationship because when you spend more time with him naturally that's when you become more like him and follow the rules because you just desire it more there is a difference between knowing of him and actually knowing him I feel like when you're focusing more on like the guidelines and the rules and what he's about like that's more about like knowing of him but once you like like get down and actually spend time with him then it's more like knowing him because it's hard to love someone if you don't know them so if it's not kind of like with celebrities, oh, I know they like this, I know they're in, this is their favorite song, this is their birthday, like, you know of them, but you don't actually know them and haven't actually spent time with them one-on-one -on -one to actually care for them genuinely. So that's the same thing with Jesus. You have to spend time with him and to actually get to know him and his characteristics pers on a personal level than just knowing of him, of how he's treated these people and oh they're friends with these people. One of my leaders at church always had like this little saying growing up and always said have a time and place to pray and read your bible every day. So it's just kind of like to do that just kind of like examine how your day is and pick which time is the best to get down and spend time with Jesus and just have devotional time and stuff. So with the devotional time, it may be at night before I go to bed, in the morning right after you get up. Maybe it's just like in the middle of the day, maybe it's like in the afternoon when you get home. Whatever works for you, it doesn't have to be right when you get up or right when you go to sleep as the more traditional things. It's just kind of whatever works more for you personally. Like it doesn't have to be even like, oh, I'm spending like 20 minutes in the day at this time and that's it. Like you can even break it up if that's easier for you, like 10 minutes at this point of the day, 10 minutes at this point of the day. And like your devotionals can look different, like how, what you focus on can look different. You could be studying different, a certain chapter, a certain book. You can even just be meditating on just something as small as a verse or a little section of a chapter and just kind of like fully understanding it. You don't have to always go super big. You don't have to with like what you're studying or whatever. You don't have to read the whole Bible in a year or whatever. You can just take a closer look at something and really grab a hold of what it truly means. You just kind of like have to experiment different things and just figure out what kind of works for you and you don't have to also stay glued to whatever you find too. Like say one day you want to just meditate on one verse and then the next day you can just read a whole chapter. It just kind of depends on where the spirit is kind of guiding you and where you feel like you need to be focusing on. What helps is just kind of like thinking about Jesus throughout your whole day and not just those 20 minutes or not just that one hour, but like throughout the whole day and have him be a part of like everything in your day, not just a little part of your day. Because when you're, when he's a part of your whole day and when you're thinking about him throughout the day, it helps you to be more aware of him and to be more reminded of him. A way that you can just focus on him throughout the day is just praying. It can just be like a little short prayers here and there being like, oh Jesus, help me open this bottle. I, this is so hard. What is happening? I do not understand this. It can even be something as random as like talking about a wall. Like I've talked about a wall before. Like it, it just, it can just whatever kind of like helps you focus on him and stuff like that. It could just be uh, maybe even like post-it notes or little notes like around like your desk area or like a mirror of like a verse or maybe a quote or maybe just like a prayer request that can like help you remind, oh, I still need to pray for these needs or a praise report or type of little things like that. Don't be afraid to go to him for everything too. 
Um, it could be something super small, like you can't find your earbuds. It might seem small, like why would he care about those? It's super small, but I don't know, just like even getting, even if you go through some of the smaller things that doesn't seem to matter as much, it just kind of helps and gets you into the habit of going to him for like everything. A lot of people think that when you pray to Jesus, you have to pray for healing, you have to pray for this, like just like prayer requests and stuff like that. But it's not just about that, like praise reports, about how your day is, whatever is on your mind, even if food's on your mind, talk to him about food. It doesn't have to be super like serious. Be careful of like what you watch or listen to or play because like those can also grab hold of like your thoughts and what you think about a lot. Like, you don't have to listen to like strictly Christian music or have to watch strictly Christian shows. There's some music that's not Christian that's still like decent music and still have meaning to it because what you watch, what you play, what you listen to does have an influence on your life. I mean, you can listen to strictly Christian music if you want to and feel like you need to. I mean, there's been times where like I've listened to just like strictly Christian music. It depends on like how, what you feel like you need to do. You can also ask him to help you with the relationship itself. Ask him to help you get closer to him. Ask him to help your desire to desire to want to get closer to him to grow stronger. And just kind of understand there's never going to be a point where you reach like, oh, I'm at the maximum level. Like I'm the closest I'm ever going to get. Your relationship with Jesus is kind of like a Thanksgiving meal, right? You, you don't just eat until you're satisfied, you eat until you're full. Sometimes it gets to the point where you're too full that you just gotta puke it out. So then you just, when you end up puking, then you just puke out his love and his joy and peace and all that good stuff on everyone else, you know? You just spread it all over the place. Well, I hope that was helpful. Too bad if you love this video, you can only give it a like, but that's what subscribing is for. Be unique and start a wave. Peace out.